everybody. Welcome back to Sunshine Acres in conjunction with Choate Construction Safety Week. I'm Jason. I'm Jared Robertson. Today's episode of Home Safety Awareness, we're going to be talking about ladder safety. Right, so we've got five different types of ladders that are commonly found at most big box stores and most uh, ladders that a, that a homeowner is going to go to uh, for, for multi-use applications and uh, just want to talk about some of the five key pointers to uh, keep in mind. So the first three things you want to think about when picking out a ladder, do you have the right ladder for the job? Is the weight capacity on the ladder proper? And then uh, is the, the, the length or the height of the ladder going to get you where you need to go? Obviously this is a multi-use ladder. Uh, in the extended uh, extension ladder configuration it's good for about 13 foot, but you need to keep in mind with that you don't want to be stepping over over top of the third rung from the, from the top. Um, that'll throw off your stability. Uh, with A-frame ladders, which this one's currently set up in an A-frame configuration, but with standard A-frame or step ladders, um, you want to make sure that the weight capacity is there. Uh, you also want to make sure that you've got good proper footing for all four feet. Standing on these top two steps severely throws off your center of balance and can cause you to fall uh, regardless of where you're working with this type of ladder. But this is an extension ladder. Again, with this, those top three steps you wanna to try to avoid. So when you're going to set this type of ladder up, make sure you've got the height requirement that you need. So I wanna chime in quick on weight capacity. So I'm looking at this six foot fiberglass ladder here. It's got a weight capacity of 300 pounds. So if you're like me and you don't like to skip lunch, you may be pushing this 300 pounds. I mean, I'm clocking in at over 250 now, so if I've got any, any type of tool once I get to where I'm gonna be, this may not be the ladder for me. Tip one, get the right ladder for the right job. Don't always assume that you've got the right ladder. Right, second ladder safety tip we're gonna talk about is to inspect your ladder before and after each use. If we're looking at this multi-use guy here, things we wanna inspect are make sure all the moving parts are where they need to be. These rotating locks here, make sure they are clicked in. Make sure your feet are secure and they are not slipping. Fiberglass ladders, I mean, we're looking at connection points here. Make sure there's no loose bolts, screws. Make sure the extenders work correctly. Good firm surface. We also want to look at where we'll be stepping on our steps. Make sure there's not, not excessive dirt, oil, anything that can cause a slip or a fall. Ooh, we got a gem here, Jared. There's a nice little uh, nest up in this ladder. That's a perfect thing to inspect beforehand. Get rid of that guy before we get up on it. Same thing, we've got 10 foot aluminum guy. I've always struggled with this one and everybody's probably got that one ladder. To get it secure, got to work it a little bit. Once you get there, it's fine, but take the time to get it right. Extension ladder here. One of my biggest things with extension ladders is looking to make sure rungs are secure. As you move up, nothing's worse than putting a hand or a foot on something and it rocks on you. Want to make sure our locking mechanisms function. Again, nice firm footing and setup. So that's uh, ladder safety tip number two. We're gonna inspect before and after each use. All right, so for part three, ladder safety setup. After I've determined that the ladder that I've chosen is gonna do the job, I'm gonna make sure that I can set it up properly. So for instance, this A-frame ladder, this six foot step ladder, I've got good solid footing for all four feet. The ladder uh, latches are fully engaged. Uh, this ladder is going to get me to where I need to be to do my work. So when you're setting up step ladders or extension ladders, multi-use ladders, you wanna make sure that you've got the proper angle uh, for that ladder. With step ladders, it's super easy. It's already done for you. You wanna to try to consider a four to one ratio, which means for every four foot in elevation, you're back one foot. If you take this as an example and walk over here to this ladder, you can tell that this is too steep of an angle for me to properly use this ladder. I have determined that this ladder, when installed properly or set up properly, will get me to the area that I need to work. So, pull it back some, and I'm able to stand here just like this, 
and comfortably grab the rails or the rungs of this ladder and then climb it knowing that it's stable. All right, so I am getting up to service this light. I'm gonna pull this ladder over here and it's gonna get me at the right height to where I can get to that elevation and work safely. Again, making sure that this is a little bit too steep. Pull it back some to make sure that it's at the right angle. And now we've got feet that are not properly engaged. So with extension ladders, they all come with feet that angle in different directions so that you can set it up properly. And this is gonna finish up part three, ladder safety. So part four of ladder safety is gonna be ascending and descending a ladder with caution. Now, if you haven't done parts one through three, it really doesn't matter. This, so you need to select the right ladder for the right job, inspect it properly, set it up properly. You do those three things, now you're ready for showtime. So I'm gonna get on this six foot fiberglass step ladder and maintain three points of contact. I'm good here, I'm good here, I'm good here. Now in theory, I could get up to this point of the ladder, but fat kids don't like this. That's no bueno for me. I'm gonna keep it here or lower. I, this is nice and stable and I can work on my project from here. As I descend, same thing, three points of contact the whole time up and down the ladder. All right, so getting on uh, this extension ladder, again, three points of contact the entire time. So we're up to a safe working spot. Now I can work on this light right here. Same thing as we come down. All right, so uh, we're doing a little test here. Uh, this is where I would normally get up here to clean the gutters, get the roof cleaned off the corner of the barn here. This is the first ladder I grabbed, this multi-use. A couple things I, that aren't right here. I don't have the right angle on this. I don't have the four to one. I really need to come out probably more like that. And the second I do that, I'm not even close to the clearance I need. I'd probably prefer three feet of ladder on the top of that and I don't have that so we're going to get this guy off to the side and get now we're talking that's a lot better there I get the angle I need get the footing good so now we've got the right ladder for the right job we've inspected it we've got it set up everything's nice and secure We've got the proper length over the top. And now we're gonna uh, bring tools up. And whenever we're bringing tools up and down the ladder, we gotta maintain at least one hand we can stay on this ladder at all times. So that's maintained my three points of contact 100% of the time with the one hand. Placing the tool, letting go. Now I'm coming down. So that's part four of ladder safety, ascending and descending with caution. All right, so we're gonna close out. This is gonna be part five of ladder safety and this is just some common sense tips. Uh, most of these have already been covered. Uh, the first one is we're not gonna lean outside of the frame of the ladder. We're not gonna to work to the left or to the right. We're gonna keep everything right in front of us. You wanna make sure that when you're getting your ladder set up on the proper surface, you keep the area around it clear just in case you have to come down off that ladder in a hurry or if something else happens and you're just going up or down, you're not having to step over tools or material to get up that ladder. All right, next tip is we're only gonna use the ladder for its intended purpose. You wanna make sure that whatever you're doing, you can maintain those three points of contact as you're going up and down. So we talked about this earlier, we're never gonna stand on the top two steps of a ladder. And in some case, if you're not comfortable, keep it down lower as I showed you earlier. It's critical also when you set up a ladder, uh, the feet on the, the step ladder and then the feet on the extension ladder, you wanna make sure those are set up on stable surfaces. You don't try to shift the ladder while you're on it. Uh, a lot of times people will try to kind of hop around on a, on a step ladder to get it, get it over a few inches once you get up there. So just a few common sense tips on ladder safety.
Uh, as we've covered, ladders can be a very, very useful tool in and outside the home. We just need to make sure that we're following the, the right procedures when using those ladders. So that's going to be it. This is a home safety awareness video on ladder safety between Sunshine Acres and Safety Week at Choke Construction. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something from it. Uh, please share this with your family and friends. And thank you. We'll see you on the next one. Be safe. Uh -huh.